Hey guys, what's going on? Best Seller on Game here, bringing you a brand new gaming video. Today I'm in Kerbal Space Program with my homemade bar. Because, you know, why not? And um, today I'm going to be showing you around this thing and taking out my test run. So, firstly, I've used lots of mods with this. Main one is um, off Space Plane Parts, is it? Uh, which has pretty much every part, including these wings. Um, so I'll just start. This is the um, cockpit with a air intake for engines, which I don't think it needs. Yes it does. Um, which is nice. I've got fuel here. This is just a couple to make this look good here. And here, we've got something really cool, which is a um, boarding ramp, which comes down like that, so my kerbals can come in and out of my beautiful plane. And um, so I can close that. And here I've got a deployment bay which opens here, then I can have like a little curve inside, maybe in space or like a satellite, or satellite. So I can just open it and then like maybe lower myself or something, I don't know, I'll use that. And then here I've got two cargo bays. Oh got two cargo bays. And a ramp so I can get some stuff inside of it after cheese. And uh, so I'm just going to close this all up. And so here I've got um, two wings to control this. I've got two wings to, here to control speed. And I've got some lights for nighttime operations, which I do regularly. Oh god. Uh, which I use quite a lot. And also because they look quite good. Which, you know, lights up the ship quite nicely. They have got parachutes to slow down, so the smaller ones and bigger ones. And these little like novel things here are the um, movers which make my ship turn. Then here I've got four engines, um, four, so one, two, three, four, you know, and they're uh, quite good, but they're not that powerful. Like this little engine here, where is it? There is quite powerful. That's only because I've like hacked it, you know, because I'm, you know, solid. solid. But um, also I'll show you how this beautiful boat works once it loads. Why? Let's wait. So guys, I hope you're doing really well. Let's try and reach 50 likes on this video uh, before the end of the month, if that's possible. You know, knowing me. Um, so, night time. That's why I've got the lights turned on. So, once it starts, I'm um, gonna put the throttle up. So here you can see like the whole shit. Uh, why is it this? There it is. Why am I my throttle go? Wait, that's broken. Um, oh, is that why? You know. Um, but you know, here I've got all my kerbals. I can look inside here, which is you know really technical. And the good thing is these these like little buttons here. That you can see where is it? This one here that says lights. If, if I turn them off, uh, it push, pushes down. It looks looks really cool. I think personally. So um, go away. I've got to. Go away! Right. So I'm just going to take you guys to the edge of the ocean, and then I'll be back when we've done that.
So guys, here I am back again, you know, with my brand new barge here on the edge of the ocean and here you can see I've already um, activated the engines. So I'm just gonna disable the brakes and just go for it. I have already tested this multiple times, but so I'll make a video on it, you know, just because I can. But um, if I I actually don't know how to do something. Settings Yeah, it's not in here. Okay, controls are not in there because this game has got problems. I'm just gonna try and see if we can get a decent thumbnail like this, but you know, life. So we're gonna speed up here because of the way Kerbal Space Program works. I've got all like these fuzzy parts, all like these part particles when I start, but. After a second, they should go. Yep, there they are. Right, so. Some more features that I forgot to mention are these six uh, air brakes that I use to slow down e without having any reverse thrust. Which many of you may know if you play Care Speed, I've made a boat that it is vital to have um, air brakes on a boat. Which, you know, you do have a person put on boats. Right, so this is usually as fast as it may get. Um, so I'm just going to try and get a bit of speed here by using me and my many mods. We're going, going, going quite fast now. I'm going to demonstrate how a uh, one stops. Do, so I just put the brakes on and just deploy the air brakes. Then these parachutes deploy, which slow me down. And if you do play Kerbal Space Program, you know, like loads of people do that. And um, and you're just thinking, well, now if you use those parachutes, now it's pointless unless you have to restart. Um, well, not entirely, because this is a fact that I only learned three days ago, or yes, on Sunday, but it, and it's Wednesday now, so four, five, four days ago. Something like that. Um, just trying to wait to slow down here. Oh, I did not want to do that. So, ah, it's actually a good point to show off my um, inline boarding ramp, which one has. So, deploy boarding ramp. I may be thinking, Ben, your boat's gonna get full of water because there's a hole in it now. Not exactly. If I can catch up with my barge, which seems nearly impossible. Cheeky. Why is my boat not stopping? I'd like to know. So I'm just going to do something. Thanks. There we go. Right, speed up. Oh my god, right. Ship lander. That's a vessel. Sorry, that does not exist. <sighs> this might take a while. Right, I guess it's going to come back once I've got near it. Alright guys, so I'm literally right here by the boarding ramp. And you may be thinking, well, yeah, that's quite pointless, but as you can see, swim under it. When the button comes up, and I turn up right. Press B. And I should board once my game has stopped being the absolute turd. As usual. So now, she's in here, so I have to attract the boarding ramp. Press transfer. Transfer Zealot Kermin to the Opt J 
uh, or the OK um, thing. I have no idea what I'm on about. Sure, so, as that feature I was talking about, that runs to the back of my uh, boat here. Because, you know, if you, if, in case you don't know, if you're into somewhere like Duna or a place that doesn't have an atmosphere, uh, you might be thinking, well, it's pretty useless. Like, if you want to build like, a fuel ship or something, that you need to go up and down out of the atmosphere to, you know, refuel ships are in orbit. But, if you go up to the parachute and then you press, and then you right click on it, you can actually repack the chute. So, um, life skills have been, you know. Repack. And, um, uh, if, if this video reaches 50 likes by the end of the month, by the end of March 2017, I will put this boat on the download somewhere, and then I'll put the link in an, either another video or in this or in this video later on in life you know when I get a lot of subscribers but I'm sad to say this video is almost over but something that I do need to show you guys which is the um how the ramp works um so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my boat put it near the runway ish uh, grab board. <sighs> oh, yep. Yeah. Right, so I'm just gonna make sure that all these wheels come out. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, well. Um,. I'm just gonna launch it again. So guys, I'll be back with you once I have got another ship. Alright guys, so I'm back with the little buggy buggy. Is it that? I really don't know. Oh, cool. Um, and this is the barge over there. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drive up to it, and then I'm gonna take myself on a little drive in round and near the space station now. So let's just get to the rear of this thing. Stop. Switch to this so I can actually open the um face. And I'll be back in a second I'm getting Alright guys, so I'm back right now with the buggy buggy doing the docking and I'm just going to turn these lights off because they're so bright they rest me a bit too bright, so uh, take it slow wow, that is just great, you know, like <sighs> what I've done idea, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, Retract the rear brakes, uh, the rear gears. Um, retract. There's like less of an incline. And take the brakes off this. And three, two, one, there we go. Right. Stop, 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 stop. Right. Reverse, reverse, reverse. And guys, you know, because I'm the dooziest person on earth, I didn't put a docking thing in here. So, I was going to drive around with this guy loose. So, he's in. I. Um, in the set, I'm in the barge, controlling it. I should say. Probably should have put the gears out before that, but you know, this is Kerbal Space Program, so anything is possible.
All right, let's go. Uh, first thing you need to enable like, the little thruster things. So you see these things that push the air. Right, so where is he? So he is currently there. And he is not moving, I should add. Oh, so I kept this like this. How hard is it to drive? We'll turn straight now. There we go, straight. So Oh wait, I can't do See, the thing is, also the brakes off, but I want him to not move. Right. Quick. Quick, 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 quick. Good boy. Right, three, two, one, and he should be... Okay. See guys, if he had parachutes on and I could uh, put the SAS on and uh, let's say I was flying over an island and I wanted to drop something like that thing for example, I could set this so I was going up my Paris, which is something to do with space science, which should be which most people don't know about. Um, I would just drop that with the parachutes in it then I'd swap to this, so then it would just keep on going the way it's going and I'm going to crash I'm going to crash with crash loops please jump, please jump, please jump alright guys, so that is the mermaid barge that one has so guys, don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, and you know, comment because I answer every comment I get and like, you know, because it really helps me out and so I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.